Often my patients ask me, is there something I can take that could lower my chances of getting another skin cancer? And it's a great question. And for years, our focus has mostly been on what we put on the skin. Sunscreen, hat, staying out of the sun, and those are all important. But what if they were something that worked from the inside? Something simple, safe, and yes, a form of vitamin that could actually help your skin repair itself after sun exposure. A new study just published in JAMA Dermatology may have found exactly that. And it's not a drug or a fancy procedure. It's a nutrient your body already knows how to use. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. So let's get into this. In September 2025, researchers reviewed medical records from more than 33,000 VA Veterans Affairs patients who had already had at least one skin cancer. They compared people who were taking a certain type of B vitamin to those who were not taking that. But this isn't your typical multivitamin B. It's a very specific one called vitamin B3, and the form used in the study is known as nicotinamide. Now, here's where people often get confused. Vitamin B3 actually comes in two main forms, niacin and nicotinamide. Both belong to the same vitamin B3 family, but they act a little differently. Niacin is a form that can cause skin flushing or worms, while nicotinamide is the non-flushing form of vitamin B3. So other differences between niacin and nicotinamide is that niacin is used to lower cholesterol, while nicotinamide is mostly used in skincare and it doesn't have the same cholesterol-lowering effects. So let's get back to our study. What did it actually find? So people who took nicotinamide at any point after being treated for skin cancer were less likely to get another skin cancer. Their overall risk went down by about 14%, and that's already encouraging. And you may be wondering how early is early. Well, the people who started within just a few months after their first skin cancer had the biggest benefit. Their risk didn't just drop slightly, it dropped dramatically by about 56%. So yes, taking it at any stage helps, but starting it early within those first few months after your first diagnosis seems to make the biggest difference. And which type of skin cancer showed the strongest effect? The biggest impact was seen with squamous cell carcinoma, the one that can grow deeper and faster than, let's say, a less aggressive basal cell cancer. So how does nicotinamide work? Nicotinamide helps your cells make and use NAD. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD is sometimes written as NAD plus because it's an oxidized form. So NAD is a natural molecule that lives inside every cell in your body. And it's what your cells use to generate energy and to repair DNA when it's damaged by sunlight or aging. But here's the problem. NAD levels go down over time, especially after years of UV exposure. And uh, when that happens, your skin cells don't repair as well as they used to. And that's where nicotinamide comes in. It is the form of vitamin B3 that stimulates production of NAD. So taking nicotinamide doesn't give you NAD directly. It helps your body rebuild it naturally. So in the study, people took nicotinamide by mouse, which raised their internal NAD levels. And with more NAD available, their skin cells could repair UV damage faster and more effectively, lowering the risk of new cancers forming. And beyond that, nicotinamide also calms inflammation in sun damaged skin. Additionally, it strengthens the skin barrier. That's very important. And supports healthy cell renewal. So who benefits most from nicotinamide? The biggest benefit was seen in people who started nicotinamide after their very first skin cancer diagnosis. Interesting fact, people who've had an organ transplant are one of the highest risk groups for developing skin cancer. And we've had many of them in our clinic and those people often have 40, 50, 60 skin cancers. And that's because the medications used to prevent organ rejection 
also weaken the immune system, making it harder for the body to catch and repair damaged skin cells. So in this group, starting nicotinamide early also made a big difference. It lowered the risk of squamous cell cancer by more than half. And overall, people who took it consistently for a few months saw the best results. Once NAD levels were restored, the benefits seemed to level off. So the key takeaway based on this study was to start early and stay consistent. So who should avoid taking nicotinamide? For most people, nicotinamide is very safe. The most common side effect is mild stomach upset, and even that's rare. However, people with gout should avoid that, and that's because nicotinamide competes with uric acid for excretion through the kidneys which can trigger gout flares. Otherwise, it's an affordable evidence-based option that works well alongside your regular sun protection habits. So don't forget about that. How do you take it? So nicotinamide is available as an oral supplement, usually in 500 milligram tablets or capsules, which is the same dosage that was used in the studies. And typically it's 500 milligrams twice a day. And you can find it actually being sold by itself under the names nicotinamide or niacinamide in some B-complex vitamins or in certain skin support blends that also contain zinc or other antioxidants. It's also found in many creams and serums, but those topical forms are for skin tone and hydration. The skin cancer prevention studies were actually based on the oral form. So this is all based our video today on this new and emerging research. And if you're interested in taking nicotinamide, always discuss it with your doctor first, especially if you have any medical conditions or take other medications. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Until next time. Bye-bye.